Welcome to another episode of How To here on Linus Tech Tips. Today we'll be doing something that's a little bit more complicated, but will give you a truly awesome result if it is done correctly. What I'm talking about is streaming mixed reality footage. What's that? Well, if you have a VR headset such as the HTC Vive that we have here in the office, you can actually stream footage of yourself doing things in a virtual game environment. So to the viewer, it will look like you're walking around in a fantastical world instead of just your living room. It does this by transposing the in-game environment onto a green screen. Cooler Master's new Master Keys Pro L and Pro S keyboards feature 16.7 million color RGB backlighting, genuine Cherry MX switches, and an industry-leading ARM Cortex processor. Learn more at the link in the video description. Today we'll be showing you how to do this in Fantastic Contraption, a game from Northway Games. We'd also like to take this opportunity to give Northway a shout out as we base this guide on the mixed reality information that they provided on their website. You can find a link in the video description down below. All you need to get started other than a VR headset and a gaming rig is a green screen, an HDMI camcorder, and either an internal or external capture card with an HDMI port. We'll be using an Avermedia Live Gamer Portable in our demonstration today. Also make sure you have an HDMI cord long enough to reach from your capture card to your camcorder as this will allow you to move your camcorder to different places around the room so that you can adjust how your stream will end up looking. This is especially important if you're getting a friend to act as a camera person instead of just putting your camera on a tripod. To get started, go ahead and set up your HTC Vive according to the manufacturer's instructions. Then get your capture card installed. Although external capture cards are generally connected with a simple USB cord, there are also internal capture cards that slot into a PCI Express 1X slot if you'd like to keep things a little bit tidier. After you've gotten your Vive and your capture card ready, go ahead and start setting up your green screen. Green screens come in lots of different sizes, so you'll want to get something that can surround your play area on at least two sides, as well as something to cover the floor. Green screen fabric actually works pretty well for this and it's not that bad to adjust, but you will need something to hang it on. Make sure your lighting is adequate as well. Generally, bright light is better as it will allow your camera and your software to more easily separate the green screen from everything else. Next, you'll want to set up your camcorder. If you don't have one, don't worry about buying something super expensive as realistic effects can be achieved with many fairly inexpensive models such as a Sony Handycam. Just make sure you aren't using something like a webcam or a phone camera as it probably won't be good enough. Place your camera in a spot that will capture as much of the play area as possible without placing areas outside of your green screen set up in the frame. You don't want to have your stream or recording ruined because it looks like some faraway world is directly bordered by your living room couch. Connect your camera to your capture card's HDMI input and you're ready to go, at least on the hardware side. Next is the software setup. Not all games support mixed reality, but the Vive does have a number of games in its library that do, such as Fantastic Contraption, which has a setting that enables multiple virtual cameras within the game. This allows your capture software to use depth information to combine the VR graphics and the feed from your real life camcorder accurately. Just open the settings menu in game, make sure toggle depth camera is checked and enter all zeros in the field labeled foreground color key. You'll need to set up your capture software next, which can be a little bit more complicated as it needs to combine three layers, the game foreground, the game background, and the feed from your camcorder. We're going to use open broadcasting software or OBS. Download, install it, open it, then hit the plus sign underneath sources and pick window capture. Name this layer VR background and select fantastic contraption. Turn off cursor capture, then enter the correct streaming resolution. For fantastic contraption, since the depth camera option splits the screen into four quadrants, you can only stream at one quarter of your computer's resolution. So if you're running a monitor at 1080p, you'll need to enter a resolution of 960 by 540. But if you have a 4K display, you can stream at 1920 by 1080. Once you've done this, make sure that you grab the corner of the layer and expand it to fill the entire canvas. Next, under Sources, add the webcam layer by picking Video Capture Device, and then name it Camcorder or honestly, whatever you'd like. 
Fill the whole camera with the camera layer like you did in the previous step, then select color key under effects filters so that your computer will process the green screen properly. Play with the similarity and smoothness settings until things look good. The last layer is the VR foreground, which you should now add by following a similar procedure to the background. However, this time deselect the capture any full screen application option and select allow transparency. Make sure again to deselect capture cursor to enter a proper resolution and to expand the layer to fill up the canvas. The last step is to sync up your camcorder with what's going on in the game. Make sure both the game and OBS are open, then adjust the virtual camera with the W, A, S, D, Q, and E keys. This is a lot easier if you can get a friend to stand in the play area with the controllers in hand, so you'll have a point of reference. But this can be done by just placing the controllers on something as well. This will allow you to match up the in-game camera system and your camcorder precisely so that the stream will look realistic. Also be sure to adjust the field of view settings by dragging the third person FOV slider in the in-game settings until the in-game virtual controllers match up with wherever your friend is holding the real ones. However, if you want to use a moving camera, you can do this by taping a third Vive controller to your camcorder, which will cause the game to track its position, making for an even more interesting visual presentation. Just select handheld mode in the in-game settings menu and sync the cameras using the previous steps. So after you've done all of this, you're finally ready to stream or record or whatever you want to do. Although there are a lot of steps involved, the result should make it look like you're firmly in the middle of a virtual world. It won't look exactly James Cameron-like, but you will be able to give your viewers a really cool experience that can set your channel apart. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. <clears throat> oh my god, I just killed the cat, what happens? Dude, I literally just threw the cat off the platform, what happens now? The Squarespace you know and love now has a new feature, Squarespace Domains, a new, fast, and easy way to search over 200 top-level domain types and manage them after you buy them directly through Squarespace. They still have 24-7 live chat and email support like they did before, and a standard account is still only 8 bucks a month, and if you buy it for a year, you do get a free domain. There's still responsive design and cover pages so that you can have professional looking single page websites for stuff like a resume or whatever, or multi-page websites if that's what you want. And the responsive design makes it so that it will look great on a wide variety of basically every single device that can look at web pages. Start a trial with no credit card required and start building your website today. And when you decide to sign up for Squarespace, make sure to use offer code Linus to save 10% off your first purchase. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike the video, dislike it. If you want to see more of them, get subscribed. If you have ideas for future how-to episodes, either let me know at Twitter at Luke underscore LAFR or let John know at Twitter at jmart604 or just post it in the comments down below. We would love to hear your suggestions. If you want a shirt, description down below. If you want to like help us out by buying things, Amazon affiliate code should be in the description down below. If you want to become a forum member, it's linustechtips.com, but it's also probably in the video description down below. You can become a contributor there, which helps us financially, or you can just become a member, which helps us awesomely. If you want to see other how-to episodes, click up here. There will be one of them. Not sure which one, mystery video, but there's only two other ones, or maybe one other one, depending when this one comes out. So. It might not be that surprising.